So yesterday I spent a little bit of time talking about uh, the rise of the empire, which included a novel called A New Dawn. Uh, and that novel was taken from an unproduced episode of Rebels, and it dealt with the connection of Kanan to Hera, which are two main characters in the cartoon Star Wars Rebels. Uh, they're characters that have become very loved. The characters in Rebels have become very loved, and they've started to pop up different places, especially Hera, um, as far as uh, her character, it makes sense for her character to be in a lot of different places. Um, and we're starting to see other characters from that show make their way into Star Wars in different, in different places as well. Um, I want to continue talking about Kanan a little bit, and today I'm going to talk to you about uh, Star Wars Kanan. Now this is technically, <laughs> this is a little awkward to hold, this is technically an omnibus. It's a very different kind of omnibus because, i got to pull it back so you can actually see it, very different kind of omnibus because it is very thin. Usually an omnibus is like 30 to 50 issues of a comic book. This is only 12 issues. But it is the entirety of, the, of, of two different runs on Kanan, two different six-issue sort of mini-series on Kanan. There was an, a series called Kanan, The Last Padawan, and then there was a series called Kanan, and those are collected here in this edition. And this is a great place to learn about Kanan because Kanan is one of those characters who, and there are quite a few of these, who sort of turned away from the Jedi path, uh, left his training for one reason or another, only to return to it and, um, and, and then become a, a sort of a Jedi master who is training others up, in this case Ezra Bridger in Rebels. Uh, so this is sort of the story of his training and how he become a, became a Jedi and his early experiences. And it's really well written. Um, it, it says, uh, Kanan Jarrus is a well-known as the cocky, sarcastic leader of the ragtag crew aboard the Ghost, fighting for freedom against the uh, might of the Galactic Empire. But before he became known as Kanan, before the fall of the Republic, he was Caleb Doom, a Jedi Padawan training under Master Deepa Bulaba. Uh, now discover how that young boy became the renegade he is today when Chancellor Palpatine issues Order 66, a directive to murder all Jedi. How will Caleb escape the purge? And there's more to it than that. But, uh, and I think that's what's so fascinating is, you know, you, you watch the prequels, you see that moment to, of, of issue Order 66 where tons of Jedi are being murdered, including younglings in the school. And... You know, the few that escape, how did they escape and what did they do as a result of that? And, you know, can you imagine being a part of a group that was essentially targeted for a, a type of genocide, escaping that? Would you, would you try to hide your roots knowing that there are people hunting for you? Uh, would you pursue what you know to be the truth? You know, who you are, who you were was good. Uh, do you pursue that still? How do you make those choices? And so Kanan deals with that a little bit. It's really great. Uh, I, I can't tell you enough how great the Star Wars comics are that Marvel puts out, and I, I highly recommend that you go pick them up, and I, I hope that you'll pick this up.